Secretary Gedon, um, I have to ask you this question because you, obviously there's a lot on your plate. But, um, you know, the, the, there is a concern that you may be distracted by what is going on on, on, on the personal side. You know, mm -hmm. were, were, were you surprised um, that uh, the Supreme Court decision on, on your disbarment came out soon after your appointment? Was that a surprise or were you expecting it somehow? Or? Well, I was expecting it. Uh, the truth is, uh, uh, before the disbarment uh, decision was uh, uh, issued by the Supreme Court, okay. uh, we knew about it already because somebody from the Supreme Court called me up okay. and asked me if, if it is possible for me to ask President Bongbo Marcos to call the Supreme Court. Eh, of course, hindi naman namin gagawin sure. yun. No? Oh. Because uh, sure. that, that might be a trap. Right. And, uh, and I know for a fact that uh, I am being disbarred not because I am stupid or dumb or I stole money of the client or I stole uh, uh, the, a property of the client. I was being, I was disbarred because uh, Justice Marie Vic uh, is taking a vengeance on me. Because I filed a case against him in 2019 for impeachment. impeachment. And uh, uh, his uh, best friend, Lourdes, Maria Lourdes Sereno, was removed because of my impeachment case against her. So talagang galit na galit sa akin yan, si Justice Marie Vic Leonen. So alam ko naman paghihiganti lang yun eh. And uh, it has not uh, really affected me because uh, I have not been practicing uh, law, my profession, since 2015. And the last appearance uh, I had in court was in 2014 pa. Oh. And uh, uh, I have been involved in more on corporate uh, 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 engagements mm -hmm. rather than an, a lawyer. Oh, rather than litigation? Yes, yes. Pero, is there any part of you not now, you know, at, at, at this point, uh, looking back, is there any regret that what, that, uh, what you did, that the outburst? I mean, uh, you, you, you were, you, something triggered you. I mean, what was it? No, no. Uh, it triggered, it was triggered by uh, the lies that are being peddled by uh, uh, Maria Risa. Uh, or, uh, sino ba yun? Risa Robles. Or, uh, oh, magkapareho kasi yung pangalan. <laughs> oh, y y yun, yun lang naman. And uh, at that time, we, we were in the heat of the campaign. Okay. And uh, she was spreading lies against okay. BBM. And that was... Uh, uh, very, uh, that was threatening on our part because uh, uh, people might believe her oh. and uh, Pero, it affected. Oh. It Pero, might affect the candidacy of uh, President Bongbo Marcos. And uh, I have no regrets because my candidate won. Oh. President na yung kandidato ko. Wala akong pakialam din sa mga disbarment na yan. <laughs> Importante no. nanalo yung presidente ko. No, well, well, because, uh, yeah. uh, because my president won, I am... Um, uh, at peace that uh, uh, the leadership of the country uh, is, in, is in good hands. Yeah. Oh, eh, imagine mo kung, kung iba yung nanalo, di ang hirap lalo na sitwasyon. Oh. Pero I, I don't Some candidates are, do not even know what, how to speak. Sure, sure. Oh, eh, nagbabasa na nga ng script, nagkakamali pa. Eh, yeah. How can you uh, believe that these people can run the country? But, you know, forgive me, uh, let me just take a devil's advocate here. I don't recall a point where I think the the uh, victory of President Marcos would, was ever in question because he was run a pretty good campaign. Yes. Pero parang I, I, it doesn't seem to match na parang yung concern mo na baka may maniwala or something. Parang um, what was that? Were you just having a bad? Naman, were you having a bad day or something? No, uh, uh, alam mo naman ang power of uh, the media. Sure. Diba? Okay. Uh, Probably, if we allow those things to happen, probably BBM might have won only as plur plura plurality president. But for the first time in the history of the Philippines, Philippine elections, we elected a majority president oh, in secretary. the person of President Bongbong Marcos. Pero secretary. Eh, kung, kung, yeah. kung nagtuloy-tuloy yung paninira noon, baka mm -hmm. instead of getting 31 million, eh, nakuha lang niya 25 million. Okay. Eh, nanalo, pero eh, hindi pa rin siya magiging majority okay. president. Well, my view is, parang backfire na yung criticism sa kanya, but let, let's, let's agree to disagree on that. But you're now secretary. Yeah, you're in a powerful position. I know you're... you're your candidate is now president. I mean, wala bang, there's no uh, para magna, magnanimity, uh, magnanimity on, on your part. Natal, you are in position. Uh, 
looking back at that situation, wala bang, wala bang ganun, ano? Wala eh. Kasi si Larry Gadon, what you see is what you get. Okay. I don't, uh, I, I have no regrets. Okay. Do you, do you think that it will be... And uh, the word, uh, secretary is much sweeter than attorney. <laughs> do, you, do you think that this issue, uh, particularly with the disbarment, will be a distraction to what you're doing? Because obviously we were talking before the program, Nakakalula yung assignment sa inyo. I mean, uh -oh. to address poverty. Such a big job, di ba? And um, it requires all hands on deck. But do you, do you, are you concerned that somehow all of these side issues will become a distraction or pabigat sa... Ah, uh, hindi. Sa, hindi sa naman. Yun? Because, uh, in fact, uh, yun naman kasi disbarment. That is not... Walang res judicata dyan. Ibig sabihin, there is no finality. I see. You can uh, reapply and you can uh, ah, okay. file a motion for reconsideration uh, I anytime. I see. And uh, it would be easier if um, uh, Justice Marie Viglionin is uh, dead. If he is dead, then he can no longer object. <laughs> okay, naman, Secretary. Hintayin ko na lang na mamatay siya. <laughs> but, um, uh, what's the situation now? Because we were talking, you said that Wala ka pa natatanggap na, na oh, wala pa. official. Because, I, if because I, I, you, were, you were correcting me earlier. I said that you were appealing it, but yeah. apparently you haven't received the official. I haven't official. received anything yet. Okay. Yes. Inulam muna nila sa media eh. So the purpose really is uh, to embarrass the president. Oh wait, well I thought that maybe, I thought it came from you, di ba? You were, you were announcing it, that uh, there was a disbarment. Uh, uh -oh. uh, Nalaman ko yun a day before. I see. Yes. And uh, I was, let's say I was appointed today. Uh oh. Uh, in the evening, oh. I learned about it. No, but I think we people people heard about it. The public heard about it from yes. you. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Inunahan ko na. Okay. Oh, kasi alam ko na yung gagawin nila eh. Okay. They want to embarrass me and the president by putting it in the news. Okay. Despite the fact that there is a rule that uh, disbarment should be uh, treated privately. Dapat padalan mo na ng notice, pa-explainin mo muna. Is eh, this... Wala. Is this fact na you heard that they were going to do that? Or, yes, yes, or yes. Or mga ano lang to, parang fears lang? No, no, lang. no. Uh, no. Uh, uh, people from the Supreme Court itself okay. uh, well, called me up. How, how they, you... they were convincing me to uh, tell uh, BBM oh. to call the Supreme Court oh. to medal. Oh. Eh, hindi naman gagawin ni BBM yun. Siyempre, hindi namin gagawin yun. Sure, sure. Eh, baka mapahiya kami. Yeah. Baka mamaya nakarecord yun. Tapos sasabihin nila, nakikialam si Presidente well, Supreme Court. And yeah, the President should not interfere and, uh, with another naman, branch of government. Baka yeah. naman i-trade off ako. Uh -huh. no? Nakagaya ng uh, ano, baka i-trade off ako na, sige, papakawalan namin si Gadon. Okay. Pero ang Chief Justice, si ganito. Oh, mm. Baka i-trade off ako. Eh, hindi naman ano yun. Anyway, hindi ko naman hinahabol na yun. Ano, ano. <laughs> what I am after is uh, to help uh, BBM. Mm -hmm. President mm -hmm. Bongbong Marcos. Right. Uh, so I had a feeling actually that uh, they wanted to trade me. Okay. For somebody to become a chief justice. Okay. Okay. And and, and so, do I get it right that if you get the official notice, then we will file a motion go through, for the You go through the process. Yes, uh, because that's a process. Uh oh. And then uh, you said that you're not concerned about being distracted. Yes. How, how do you how do you do that? Because you know I have not yeah. been practicing law since 2015. No, I mean what I mean is, oh. yung ibis na pag-usapan yung poverty, which is oh. a big enough problem it is, and yet here the, these things crop up na medyo ah, hindi uh, naman. divert our you know even here with this interview we're diverted yeah. uh, to talk uh, about this issue. Na pag-usapan sa mga interview, but in, yeah. when when it comes to tackling with the uh, work, your wa wala yon hindi wala nobody ask for it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, nobody ask uh, about it. Uh, okay. wala, 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 hindi namin na discussion even in my uh, meetings with uh, several experts on uh, energy and so on. Oh, 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 how do you reconcile yung your position you know, with with the government's unity? Total, total you won. I mean, you're you're in position already. Wala bang room in your heart to say Raisa or, or whoever? You know what? These people Let's are na. These people have uh, a very difficult uh, mindset. Okay. Wa walang reconciliation sa mga yan. Eh. Okay. So why would I? Okay. Oh. But for the record, have you tried? Or? No, no, I won't do it. Okay. Oh. Bala sila mabulok dyan. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
What's in what's in the future for uh, Secretary Aguilar? Because you said Secretary is sweeter than Attorney. Yes. Is Senator sweeter than uh, even Secretary? No? Yes, probably even Vice President. Okay. Or President. Okay. <laughs> you know what? What this this barmint thing uh, have endeared me to the hearts of the Marcos loyalists. Okay. Because uh, na disbar ako dahil na pinagtatanggol ko si BBM. Okay. So ngayon my image is now just like uh, ay kay BBM yan. Pag para mang nakikita nila, pag nakikita nila ako, yung mukha rin ni BBM nakikita nila. Uh -huh. Pag nakikita nila si BBM, para nakikita nila na sa likod ako ni BBM. Uh -huh. So, uh, politically, it, okay. it uh, benefits me. But uh, would you concede, Secretary, that maybe it would have been easier for you if you didn't have this problem at all na parang I mean you're still uh, uh, you're still holding on to your law title, legal Technically, title? Technically, I'm still uh, a member of the bar because I have not yet submitted my motion for reconsideration. No, what, what Nothing I, is yeah. final yet. No, what I, what I mean is, kung wala itong mga problema na ito, oh. you already have such a big pro, uh, big assignment uh, yes. to deal with. Wouldn't it make, wouldn't make your job easier without without this? Wala naman, because uh, this uh, job has nothing to do with the uh, legal profession. Okay. In fact, anybody can become uh, a uh, anti-poverty uh, uh, anti, uh, czar. Okay. As long as uh, they have ideas to uh, implement right. how to uh, uplift the poor. Wala namang, ano dyan, wala namang legal na usapan dyan. Eh. Right. In fact, uh, there's no lawyering on this part. Yeah. Yeah. But so, so wala, wala, ano yun, wala epekto. So you haven't encountered any problems, people who may want to help with poverty, but they may not want to deal with a Larry Gadon? Wala bang ganun? Ah, wala namang ganun. In mm -hmm. fact, eh, sila pa nga yung gustong gusto ma-associate sa akin. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. So yeah. you, you mentioned possibly Senate, possibly VP. May, do you have a timetable? <laughs> well, uh, uh, Probably 2025 or 2028. If, okay. if uh, President Bongbong tells me na stay put ka muna dyan, marami right. pa tayong trabaho, then right. I will not run. So what, what would you like to <coughs> achieve before, Siguro, you leave this assignment and move on to maybe either the Senate or maybe even higher office? Well, I, What's your legacy? What, what do you want your legacy to be? I, wa I want to set the, the guidelines okay. and uh, the, the direction uh, to, to uh, solve the... Uh, poverty uh, incidents. Okay. And uh, we have to lay down the rules, the the, the guidelines, and uh, uh, the the plans that uh, we should implement. Okay. Pag siguro pag nagawa ko yan, then and, you uh, feel better. Yeah. Yes. Uh, because as of now, uh, although there is a policy of a one government approach in uh, tackling the anti poverty. Uh, May, may, uh, yung mga agencies kasi, agencies kasi may kanya-kanyang programa eh. Then we have to synchronize everything. Uh, as, I, as I have said, to simplify it, I will orchestrate. Okay. Study, evaluate, and amend or revise uh, whatever plans uh, and do the, the necessary uh, evaluation. Well, Secretary, you and have recommendations a, to the President. You have our gargantuan task, and uh, we, we wish you all the best because your success is, I think, the success uh, of the country. Success also. of the country. Sir, but before we leave, you want to say a few words to our audience? Huh? Yes, uh, I'm uh, appealing to our countrymen to uh, konting pasensya, and uh, of course, uh, unawain natin ang mga programa ni Presidente Bongbong Marcos, and uh, uh, Lahat ng paraan ay ginagawa. We have a very uh, sincere president who wants to solve our problems. At napakahirap nitong uh, dinadanas natin dahil na alam nyo naman, kakagaling lang natin sa pandemya, kaya hindi lang tayo makapag-expect ng uh, uh, overnight miracle to solve our problems. So, uh, just stay put and uh, trust us that we are doing everything to solve our problems. And sabi nga ni President Bombo Marcos, ito na ang bagong Pilipinas. Maraming salamat. Secretary, thank you very much for, for your time. I'd like to thank also our viewers watching this program uh, live and those watching the replay. I'd like to thank Pastor Apula Kibuloy for making this program possible. This has been Business of Politics. I'm Dante Klingang, and I will see you next week.